Okay. Let's get into this then. Hopefully this will work. actually already played a few others. This was the one I finished off momentarily on my own. And I've been just I've just been doing these two off to the side to see what all different it is. So the only other one we have left now is one house. So let's see what we can do, shall we?
few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be... That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe I'm... I am indeed a student. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Jesus Christ. Okay. Sorry for that long, long pause of silence, but I had a little bit of a phone call, so. <sighs> so, this is what we're going to be doing with our character. It's going to be female, because I've already had my main account. It, my main profile on this was female. And I already got two males, so this is balance it out. We're doing another female. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term began. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Just so anyone knows, I'm just you left the Scotland. Shit. Talking. <laughs> just the <barely. laughs> And who is your travelling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. 
Hey, it is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed oh, hey, before the term begins. <laughs> well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Aww. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? <laughs> I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We do... Wigan well potion. That stuff will hit you in a second. <laughs> what happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid air? Yeah. The thing is, though, you can't really blame never. that dragon. Professor? Green, I'm not going to give spoilers, spoilers to anyone that hasn't sure. seen too far into it. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Yeah, but I don't know if there's any other people that would join in on this that hasn't actually played it, though. How far did that pokey take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in yeah. the Scottish <laughs> Sir, those roads. Do you think... The pokey was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. 
and I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. <laughs> That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Just ahead. Oh, God. Steady yourself. Yeah, I know. The thing is, though, I don't like to use it due to the fact that seeing them in games isn't that big of a deal. I just can't stand seeing them in real life. But I'm used to seeing it. And plus it makes it more authentic. someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Yeah, I know. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fink! How 
odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. There might not be one in here. I don't think there Hello? is one in here. Just a moment. <laughs> oh. This way, then. No. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them.
here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Oh, he gets there as soon as I get towards the chest. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. It's still reachable. Screw it. <laughs> what do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. I couldn't find one over there for some reason. Best of luck. <sighs> Because I've gone through that even on all my other accounts and could not find the chest, so I don't I don't know where it would be. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. God damn it. Revelio. There! I saw something! Move a bit closer and try again. Damn it, I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> I've gone through that whole entire area on all my other ones, and I could not find well, it. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Oh, God. Not out of Gringotts. I can't do anything about it yet until... I can get the freaking Lumos spell. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. Mm. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos.
So is it supposed to be like in this part right here or is it a little further in of this area? If it's in this it part right here, the then... Ah, motherfuck. Fuck. Fuck. Probably have to wait until this is done to do a little exploration. Yeah. I tried to hit the button. I tried. There we go. I was right off the rail. I found one. <laughs> the wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. I'm not seeing any over here now. I found that first chest right off the rip just by going backwards, but I don't see any more. There's one. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Yeah, there it is. that's all of them, isn't there? Because you said there's roughly about three or four. So I'm guessing that's probably just the three. 
because I'm not seeing more so far. So I did skip over the one with the goblin. Hit it! There's some in here. That was a gimme. Oh yeah, definitely, for all kinds of stuff. The only thing that I hate is that some stuff is locked behind stuff from what I know of. And you have to do certain quests to start getting uh, the things you, you need. How did you... What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. So while this is going through, I'm going to step away from here real quick to get some stuff. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created... May be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ramrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key. And you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
kind of try and get myself something to eat. I haven't ate anything at all yet today. the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Yeah, I'm with now, you on that. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? yourself to meet the headmaster fig nice of you to join us the sorting ceremonies over there were complications complications it seems the goblin Enough. problem has... goblins I've no time for rumors fig and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left if you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. No, I already ah, know what this is going to yes. get me. It's a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend <laughs> delayed your arrival <laughs> here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Oh, no, different. Okay. That was different. Well, we're doing this one. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. That's one we're doing. Because I've already done Hufflepuff on my main one. I have a Ravenclaw and a Gryffindor. I just need to do a Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin! Uh, 
Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. An Easter egg. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, hmm. sir. I don't know if I can actually access that being a witch, though. Saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Because I thought each dorm room was set up to where if you're not the wizard or the witch to go in no, all, you can't go into each other's dorm side. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. It can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. I like how my character is just staring around at a freaking well. wall like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Aspiration. Well done. Yeah. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I That's what I'm saying. So it's hard for me to go into the male's dorm if I'm a witch. Sleep well. Unless it's something that you can see from where you're stopped at. Then I can understand. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Well. <sighs> I suppose some introductions are in order. Let's see, if this is the female side, I'm guessing... Would it be over here? As a motherborn, I never expected oh, no. to be face to face with a man eating sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know this layout. Go towards him and watch hallway? I'm not understanding. Yeah, he's just slipping away. Couldn't agree more. I'm trying to understand this layout. I've, I've not really explored in this part. I 
feel like way <laughs> I've not really explored this so you do do it was in the wrong direction whoopsie doos might be too soon I'm guessing it's supposed to be these stairs that you're talking about people oh you're the new fifth year I'm Sebastian Sallow welcome to Slytherin thank you not everyone has a ministry escort to school he was a friend of professor figs who merely joined us for the ride still impressive dreadful way to go poor fellow glad you and Fig are all right Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Think that again. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. I'll probably have to pull that up in a bit. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we mm. had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I'll probably flying. have to pull it up I here in a bit. I can teach you more than Kogawa ever see it. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Hmm. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. I always forget how cocky the Slytherin people are. 
I think I heard one. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Uh, I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days. Giant squid. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not no, I haven't. Proud of I didn't even know what there was a He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. I'm streaming on PlayStation. I have a PS5. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Hmm. I'll have to try and go a little further into the game to find... to get access to a broom so I can do that. Was it supposed to be? Because I'm understanding this is like more of a dungeon area, so I'll have to figure out where the Slytherin's common room's located to see if I could see the squid from there. I can see him in your oh. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. Wait. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. I think... Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Okay. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Are you talking about the bigger part of the lake where Here you are? You have that one little small island off to itself, but you can see see most of the lake before you go on under the bridge or uh, uh, overpassing through the castle. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a mm -hmm. fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh, lovely. She's lovely. Thank you, Professor. But if he shows up randomly like that, then I'm gonna have a problem figuring morning. out where to find him. Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. This way. <coughs> I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Mmm. Do keep up. Then I do believe I've probably seen Why him whenever I was playing as my other class was on. And see what the the guide can provide. Each, each creature has a rare coloring. 
I didn't even know they had rare color rings. And you're fucking fish. Are we doing a wizarding version of freaking Pokemon? Like, shit. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Corns are white, but where coloring? Gold. Hmm. Didn't know that. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You mean the puff skins? Because if we're talking about little fluff balls, they're the puff skins. I didn't, like I said, I didn't even know any of the creatures actually had and a rarity form. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. There's always one page something I happening need to grab. here. It's the heart of the house. I'll have to wait. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Speaking of butterbeer, I am so mad with my job. Due to the fact that we actually had a four-pack case of legit Black Cauldron butterbeer. from not the game but from the movie and I actually wanted to get it just to try and by the time I actually had the money to try and grab it we were gone Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire can... to become auras. Fortunately, we, we are usually lucky get to those uh, at my store. We get those usually right around like fall, close to like Halloween or so. We get them around then, due to the fact that it's like a fall theme and with it being part of the Harry Potter franchise and everything a lot of the people you'll see will deal with that more towards Halloween so we will get it in around that time by corporate standard but I know I found a recipe online before where you can actually make your own homemade butterbeer what will I learn in charms class exactly what you might expect spells charms jinxes all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy <laughs> Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. 
Yes. I came across uh, the recipe years ago where it showed that you can how you can make your own homemade style version of butterbeer. And it, to a point, looked intriguing. But at the same time, I also felt kind of iffy with it because of how the recipe, what the recipe was calling for. So it's like, eh. But I could understand why they were going towards that side for the recipe to be for it because of the name. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fitz okay. succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I love how that's about to die. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. There we go. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely I on you, Professor? I was gonna say, don't to worry. The details of the field guide's map. Of course. I'm worse Thank when you. it comes to doing the mailing process too. Like I can, like Good I kid you not, I had stuff that I wanted to mail out before for like cards guide. and stuff, it will be especially to my niece. To you. And, and I could not for the life of me remember where I placed my stamps. Started cleaning yes, up, going through stuff, emptying things out, and I came across my stamps and I'm like, oh shit. Today, and they were and right there in plain sight, did I not notice it or anything, and I'm like, what the fuck? So it's like I had skipped surprise. two years of her, two years worth of birthdays. Because of that. Ah. <laughs> Normally when it comes to stuff like that, if you guys have on your visor for above where the on the driver's side, if there's like a strap that goes over it, you can take and slide that up there. So that way it's right there because if he ever, if either one of you guys end up taking, moving, or doing anything like that, it'll be right there in front of you. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best. But I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. <laughs> Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. 
I think the class I probably would do better in would be potionary. Would be like my potions class. I feel like I'd probably do better in that. I don't know. I don't have a. I don't think I actually got a favorite class because I feel like I would probably screw up somewhere along the line doing the spells, especially when it comes to defense. I would probably be slightly scared to try and do anything in herbology unless it's simple plants like Dittany, like having my Dittany seeds and mallow sweets and smaller plants like that. I would be fine. Do I want to deal with Mandrake? Oh, hell no. I don't want to go deaf early into the freaking time frame. <laughs> I might actually do good in charms too. Like, ch I don't. I feel like charms would probably be, probably be easier, depending. I don't know. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Oh, I almost forgot You'll too. Enjoy Mr. Ollivander. Flying, He's flying an class. He's exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I, shall I would think so too. I, would, I was going to say that flying class. Locket. No, so my luck. I'll be the dumbass to actually end up smacking myself with the broom, trying to get it to move up from the from the ground, these walls. and lose my balance trying to fly. <laughs> So you probably see me plummeting to my death. <laughs> so yeah, I think I would probably do better off in potions or charms. True. If you have that nice connection and bonding with the creature, then you would be in luck on them saving your ass if you fall off. But I do like how some of the brooms are, though. I will give that. Some of the brooms actually look pretty, sl pretty slick. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. <laughs> now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Aki, 
shield. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Don't, Keep don't try and give up on it. Just rival Remember here. what uh, Mikey and I Very had good, said. That's enough of that. If you do the well, stream and everything, the basics down and it is you don't have to show yourself day. off thinking, on stream because a lot of streamers out there actually don't show their faces, so it's fine. And After me. plus you're showing off what you have more enthusiasm on, what you enjoy as well. You don't have to go with the whole entire curriculum of what everyone has a hype on and everything you can do your own thing that's the best thing about I've streaming always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery as i'm sure the quidditch players amongst us would agree hmm? <laughs> so always with the summoning charm to the test right <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest student start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and the charm. That's it. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, and you, can you do are that. summoning them toward you. Like I said, the best thing about streaming is that you can stream whatever you want of what you enjoy and what you have enthusiasm on. It doesn't really have much of a limit at all. So you can do your own thing. You don't have to show yourself off or anything like that. You can just show what you enjoy. Excellent control there. Splendid. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. I don't have much of a setup either. <laughs> You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you Cause... are playing red. What? Can... Um. Yes, sir. What Mikey and I are wanting to do are totally different things. What's this? But it's going to be a slow process to get up to where we're at. What we have right now is just what we can get going for it. Hi. I just clipped right through her ass. <laughs> Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. I'm getting a call. That is how it's done. Yeah. 
Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. You are not making this easy for me, are you? Watch this. that it was like ah, no <laughs> I was right there on the edge very good both <laughs> of you well done <sighs> every How time I go to play that even when it was like the side missions if I played that I always ended up fucking up because I always good overshoot like it <laughs> I must admit I think I underestimated you Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Do that. This may seem an odd question, but is but no one my luck. I go to use theirs to slow me down, mm -hmm. and I fuck yes. myself over. <laughs> but I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh yes, I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however. That I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Oh damn! Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu kind of makes me think of one of my games I'd played before, where the world. I had been so playing yes, my main account and everything, Hogwarts. and next thing I know, it started glitching halfway through. It always felt like home. What? <laughs> what? It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. If A word, so if you would. Well. You'd be using you wanted to speak with to me, Professor? Precise, I did. You know it I trust you. your God, first don't I know child's it. lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. 
What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? What the fuck, man? <laughs> Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student why? everyone's been why you, why about. Why you say that, me? Hope why? your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> what the heck? Tell your board. Is that all you've got? Let me also! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one <laughs> Hebridean black skull. Um. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. <laughs> Remember, a surprised <laughs> opponent <laughs> is a weak <laughs> opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. 
Now, the basic card. Well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you. Okay, I think I okay. Duelist, now I remember what the names so are. Yeah. Now, I've been racking my freaking brain around freaking blind boy's and name potato. and I know you what it is. Did. It's ominous. God, why did that one want to leave my freaking mind? <laughs> this should be easy. Yes. I don't know why his name freaking escaped my head. Like, I God. I mean, she fired. We heard it earlier when I was earlier when I got to dorm room. It's like the fuck I forget that. I put you on the spot. And you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If uh, what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, <laughs> is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. <laughs> All right, that's enough <laughs> spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. <laughs> Nice work. <laughs> I think it's because earlier when he was saying. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. <laughs> you know, she might be a perfect fit for a certain <laughs> exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. <laughs> Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me. <laughs> it's bad if Excellent. you can confuse yourself, you babe. You know Biden. that. <laughs> if you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. <laughs> Till next time. What the fuck?
up, Nikki? I need those stickers. <laughs> I need those stickers. Peeves always makes me feel very fucking confused and concerned. told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels, crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. But it's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does crossed ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. <laughs> and to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling is an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner no. if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Oh. 
do. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep oh, this up and you could be the next school champion. Oh, yeah. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these deals, <laughs> but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations <laughs> on your first Cross Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Oh my god. You have the PS version, so you get a single mission that the rest of us don't get. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> A single mission that the rest don't get? What do you mean? What mission is it that the uh, PlayStation has that the other systems don't? I swear to fucking god, man. I can't with you right now. What about the room, <laughs> Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. I swear, babe. Ah, there you are. <laughs> I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. <laughs> Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's God. a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander, will connect you with the perfect wand. 
You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. <laughs> Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Oh, good for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, <laughs> What is it? A spellcraft oh, is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell I me more about the potions, shop, Professor? Jay Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Mm. Who should I go to Hogsmeade with? I'm trying to figure out who to go to Hogsmeade with. Like, I don't know if it should be with Natty or with Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Rebellion. Swear to God. Ah, there you are. 
You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Mm, swear to God. That might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. <laughs> I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revenia. Professor, yeah. why must I complete these God tasks? Damn, they are meant to give you first-hand experience as you proceed to master new bits of magic. Good luck, and I shall see you soon. I just want the page. Give me the page. Thank you. This is the right area. Got it. Page must be around. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try, then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, <laughs> wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed mm. out. I feel like the game's fucking broke for a moment. Cause I'm... I think the game fucked up for a moment. Repair. Yeah, I think the game fucked up. It's not letting me repair. The statue. <laughs> what? What? What's up? She's fucked up. Let's see what we got here. What 
Seven. Oh, oh shit. Thirteen. Uh. The. I think the only ones we have left is either a sausage pep and cheese or a. Supreme and cheese. One of those two. What the fuck? <laughs> with you later. Rebellion. All right, babe. Love you too. <laughs> well, that's using you then. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, 
I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. <laughs> Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the Librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. Yeah, damn. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace for the flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. It's big in the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. Oh, it is big. that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Okay. Loads to see. Faces to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how no. you became so good at dueling. I've actually not even played that before. I mean, I've heard of it, but I've never played it. <laughs> I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand <laughs> too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked <laughs> right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. <clears throat> I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Give me the moonstones. I 
Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or mm. rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Wait. home. Wait. Velio. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> no! Okay, so that's twice I've actually leveled up. I don't need that. I need this. Wow. See, I would be okay without that, but everyone has their own fa own opinions, own interests and everything, so it's not much you can say on it.
an inquiring mind. Revelio. For living there for that long, I can understand being used to it. Yeah. think so I mean I don't think there would be any regulations or so going against it you would probably have to dig into some of the information about that stuff for the discord streams first before doing anything pardon me sir I'm here for the spell crafts professor Weasley ordered Matilda student I thought I might be seeing you soon I am the proprietor here Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. There we go. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. up here. Rebellion. Get to all the vendors. 
open that up, get that up. Okay. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Ha <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps... Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay. Oh, let's see what wand would actually seem more suiting. Curious indeed. looks there's 38 different wood types so
generator. And see what we can come up with, shall we? One to thirty-eight, we've hit twenty. So what would number twenty be? Curious indeed. How intriguing. God, I fucked up my count trying to hear him. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. So Hazel's on that one. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll do 21 on that, so we'll do 4. Curious indeed. 10 and a quarter inches. It's the same, so six. How intriguing. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Hmm. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Hmm. What do you think should be the core on it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you have a choice to freaking pick pick one out of a 28 selection or 38 selection, what the fuck would you do? <laughs> like, fuck. And personally, I think Dragonheart. Curious indeed. Okay. Go with the 
head still. What the fuck? Mm. What kind of core would Lee pick for his wand? Because I've done unicorn hair. I think unicorn hair was actually done for my main one. And I think I've done phoenix on my other two. I don't remember. He would do unicorn? Shit. Let's see. Put in consideration of what my character looks like. And the classing she's in. Okay, so let's see. Let's put it into consideration. The... The house that she, my character's in right now is Slytherin. The aspects of what Slytherin does, and then put into consideration of what my character looks like. What do you think would fit best for her? It's hard picking a core because you want something that has that power behind it, is loyal to you, but also is very nimble and quick. And what's bad is that with all three of these cores, all three of these cores has exactly what you would want for a wand. But you can only pick one, so that's what makes it difficult. Curious indeed. Because as of right now, if I was to do it, this is literally what the wand would look like. type that the wand's at is a hazel wood with the flexibility being swishy but in the wand length is ten and a quarter inches so basing that off for picking a core out Probably would do Dragon Heart String then for her. What do you think? <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match? 
Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. There we go. Okay, we got the wand now. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? I need Wiggums and Endurance. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today.
me. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. I forget. Well, that's shit everything. Is expensive. Better go and find Sebastian. Rebellion. The place, I really think it, it was a problem. I'm trying to find all this shit is at night. Oh, oh you mind. <laughs> okay, that was creepy. Rebellion. I found all I can have there. All of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. 
let's see what else we can get up to. You're good. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you alright? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair it. A moment, if you would. I'll go and see what you want. for Officer Singer to worry about. One more, where was it? Ah, that Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. 
I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle worthy. you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it isn't utter. Mm, okay, what? I wanna change that out. God, that actually makes my character look small. <laughs> or as much as you're actually able to hoard. <laughs> yeah. You might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know.
You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Oh yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. I try and get at least two of each one. Granted, it's the big giant one you ride around, book. that so one you know is anything. so hard. Thank you, I, like, you I think well. the only one you can find, because I have not been able to find any other mate. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Oh. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? I'll have to well done. find that later then. This. My pleasure. Because I, I have like two of Trolls each on a lot of them, me. and there's like a lot of the it little babies roaming around in my area on my main one. And right. they're so cute. I can't the get over it. I love the little the hippogriffs deal. though. Uh, they're they're so adorable. <laughs> Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. No, I would say I would love to see what you got on yours. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Oh. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. I don't know, that's the one thing that I hated that Microsoft did to the Xbox is that they got rid of the streaming services that you could do on there to where you can take and do streams off onto YouTube. Now if you do anything for streaming, it's you could stream and it goes straight to Twitch. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Yeah, no kidding. 
I remember whenever I had my 360 before when I first moved here in this air in the area I'm in now I had mixer on there I would use it all that stuff it made it so much fun and easier and then just poof gone Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Oh, I didn't see this back here. Damn it. <laughs> Wish I knew where to go for near furnace. I know there's some here. I know it. Where is it? Is, but I know there was rebellion in this room. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. 
It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's what? distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Oh, okay. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. Oh, when I read it aloud, okay. This map appeared. How fancy they are Clever and everything. It's like it's the royal blue with the fancy gold, to be sure, gold seal to hold and open. It leads. it leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything... I don't blame you. It gives it more of that elegant dangerous. royal uh, I to feel to it. Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book. But we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Mm -hmm. And having curtains like that actually will make it so much more welcoming and soothing. Especially if the room it's in, like a living room, is more of a cream color instead of white. Yeah, but it depends on the durability of the curtain, too. Ah, I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy oh, for lighting on. torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. That's usually why when it comes to sheets you know like those, I always finished. have the cheap ones to be put onto the bed. And as soon as I go through my cheap ones and I know I don't have any more, I'll put that on as a last resort kind. Revelio. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Might some kind soul help me? Mm. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. 
That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Hey, Yuki. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. See, what you're describing is like the comforts of what I would like to have for a bed. <laughs> oh, rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. One of Zenobia's go. gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I was just clipped through a freaking door. around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. training dummy on which you can practice spell combinations and you're up for a round well, you when you're ready for either come and find me in the usual place handy resource indeed your cool. i'm most pleased to be included rebellion
Rebellion. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Gotta forget they randomize this. Seventeen. He's a lizard. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Thank you. 
God bless the fucking doors. Like a damn. Get that one. And that one. So what do we got? Five. With six. It's eleven. So we got a whoop. Five on. Give me the gist. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobstones. Yeah. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. had more luck than I did tracking Hello, her. Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Ooh, Wish me luck. Hi, baby. Thank you, Giro. I got a little visitor on my stream now. <laughs> yeah. Come here, baby. Yes, let's go ahead and flash your ass to the freaking people on the stream. Oh, what should you do? What's wrong? <laughs> oh. 
get comfy on my lap, okay, baby? Yeah? Okay. Now, I was... <sighs> I was doing something, I don't even remember. But I'm gonna add those on. Change them to that. Got a new one. That looks like shit, so... Yeah, that sounds about, like, Roz. <laughs> What's bad is that as you can see on here you have a hundred and fifty areas and locations and there's 94 pieces of clothing i've managed to get about maybe three one two three i managed to get three of these done hey babe I managed to get three of these done, and I tried to do the locations like this, my Revillo pages. Alright, but no, I try to check all my pages right here, and what's bad is that there's 150 on here. But yet, when I went through, I could not find 150 locations of where those pages would have been at. So I don't think they updated this game to where it gives you all of those locations. Or they're pretty much holding on to the rest of that for like a expansion. Because I've done walkthroughs and everything on doing those to see to make sure I got all the pages that were needed and I've gotten all the pages you fought for him And 
I can't wait for you to come home either. I'm kinda curious to know Ready for how. Another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? What baby? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. You we looked go. good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. I think that's the closest I'm gonna get for a dark area. Hey babe, if you're still on here, can you answer? See, I just couldn't get all of the Hogwarts ones, and there was quite a bit of, um, Highlands and, um, Hogsmeade that were missing for some reason. Oh, hell. Kind of makes me think of what happened to Mikey when he tried to play this a little bit. Yes, there's Kitty. <laughs> oh, baby. Grab on 
Yep. <laughs> hey! Miss my hand, you little shit. Miss my hand. Yeah, I know one of them you get from said mission that you do on here, but I don't know Hello, where you can find the other. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great Gotta get me a drink up. real quick. Ready for another round? Oh God, I needed a stretch too. I've been sitting here so long, my legs started going numb. Indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. 
then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your Ooh. spell casting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Okay, so I see where that one's located for that. And... Hmm. I like the outfit that your character has, though. Like, not, not the robe itself, but, like, the actual outfit your character well wears under the robe. Good work. A few targets for you. Ooh. Where did she get those? Incendiary. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Blaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? I never came across those. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. 
Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. There you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? It seems he's working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port, port key to Gringotts. I'm not sure <laughs> I'd follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you <sighs> okay. can to avoid her. She and I have had our entire I'm hoping that the areas for that her. for them don't be so lucky. randomize. Because I know some do. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Then I must be completely losing my freaking mind whenever I try and figure out where the hell they're at. Because I would see it on the map and then all that and go straight to the location and it's not there. It's like, right? <laughs> Unless I fuck up looking at the map. The unicorn's location's inside the Forbidden Forest. I know that one. See there? That's the door we need to reach. Yep. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. 
It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I actually end up finding a lot of the females on mine, I just can't find the rares. still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? I 
be so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Revelio. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. Ooh, fucked up on the button. Silent as a grave. Should be in the clear. Skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return Rebellion. to her. This Merlin knows everyone. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair it. Yes, because I need a fuck ton of those potions. Oh, you did? Of course. Traces of ancient magic. Rebellion. There must be more to this room.
this need? Hmm, no shit. Okay, that makes sense then. Get comfy, okay?
This must be the way forward. But to where? Fell off the edge here. about me. So in here, no, we don't.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. <laughs> yeah. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> okay. I better go back to playing now, okay? I know. I know, Shuki. You're comfy. I know, baby. There you go, Shuki Boo. I know, baby. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> 
I hardly ever use any of those. Like, I don't... I don't use the cabbages nor the... Uh... Other... Like, the mandrakes or anything else like that. I don't use... Those things for AIDS. Hell, I don't even use potions. Yeah, the whole entire time I played my main game, my main campaign uh, profile, I had not once used a single one of them. And I don't even use a single one of the potions either, unless it's for like a special assignment where it's like, hey, you need to use these simultaneously or something like that. And it's like, okay, I'll do it. But other than that, I don't ever use them. It is rather unorthodox to say the least. Unorthodox. It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to I hear grow everything. so many of the plants, it's not even funny. So I stopped, I've actually stopped growing all those kinds of plants. And start growing all the things I need for the potions instead. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Yeah. I'll Still, use po I'll, I like, need time throw, to the po what throw the stuff for the potions that I I'm have, that I, I know I can do a certain supply on, but the mo potions I would probably use the most, I, I constantly I brew, is Wiggum Wells. Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the minister. I haven't about actually Randall, sold any no of event. my potions my because whenever I go to, to do anything, I can't the sell the stuff. The details to I can mostly just buy know. the ingredients or buy the pre made potions, but I cannot sell them. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally right well. Back. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. <laughs> 
Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. closest den is. Okay. Future champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Good one! 
reasons why I hate these combinations. They take forever for them to charge up. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Crossed Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit! It was mostly luck, that's all. Please, no, you, you wouldn't have can. got this far on luck alone. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you, it's been an honor. You earned it, you are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages.
finish that quest, did I? Almost did. <laughs> Just now need to fucking do a full blown frickin' roll out bullshit. Oh, I did miss one. Whoopsie! I really You were looking too far north. This is the moon captain. Mm. I hear you, sparkle bitch. Revelio. Give, give. Is she growing Pungus onion again? Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment okay. and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, okay. grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug.
should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, <laughs> putting the mandrake right at ease. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Reasons why I would not do herbology. Because that little shit right there well, would be the reason why I would, I would say fuck the class. <laughs> you can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. Well, you pounced in at the worst off. time, so... Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find oh, you some God, seeds. Oh, God, Nikki. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses? <laughs> you are not wanting to do with it. Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. <laughs> You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. <laughs> Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. <laughs> Bring on, mate. <laughs> nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We <laughs> Gryffindors fight with honor. Uh, no offense. Sorry. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through. See that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. I swear. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but 
Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap have more of them, <laughs> if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves I shall end our lesson here terribly sorry Mr. Clopton <laughs> I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages professor remarkable plants aren't they I hope they weren't too much trouble Ooh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits I don't need a ban I right now I'm still too fresh in this to quite green fingered Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. <laughs> Swear to God, babe. Hope those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damn hearing. There's one. I knew there was a chest up here. Jesus Christ. Good freaking God, babe.
Jesus fucking Christ, babe. Wait. Taking your shit. Jesus Christ, babe. Oh, cool. I doubt I'm going to be able to find one. I think there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school. Professor Black would never allow it. It would make him look completely incompetent. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Damn. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. That would be Mikey's luck. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. <laughs> and from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own Aye. ingredients. Some can be harvested yeah, from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be. I know, I know which game you're talking about, Nikki. I actually played it for a bit, and I just freaking hate that girl. We'll but she's also misunderstood. First time round. <laughs> Give me one moment.
that's what I usually what I do with my uh with mine because I always seen it as they actually do good in that area the unicorns I usually put in the <sighs> I usually put unicorns in the shredder I think I put the I think if I ever gotten a unicorn I put them in with the um I put them in the open field can you fucking not? <laughs> Adios! <laughs> what color is the hippogriff? The rare one. I said hypocrite. <laughs> what color is the hypocrite? Any color for those. If it's a hypocrite, it's gonna be any color. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Hmm? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. She's I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Chat. Bit of a okay, prodigy with potions, okay. if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. Oh, the hippogriffs but are like a goldish color if they're everywhere. rare. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an endurous potion. That's a hypocrite. I'm the working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing a tiny last ingredient add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're yeah, as clever a bird. as I hoped. Give me the I wing or in a horse combined. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. It was either continue to chat and then saying weird things, or actually come home and say gold. We're, if I'm to do that, then you might as well. There's gold for rare. I've had the. So it's a gold chicken. I think the. It's like. Then if you pre order, you get a black riding. I think I've actually done that. Like, I didn't actually get a brown one, I had gotten a black one right off the rip. And then I had gotten a white one, but the black one, I, I didn't even pre-order the game. I got chicken wings, bucket, that's what I got. I'll get you the fruit of feather. Like, I didn't even pre-order this game and everything, but I managed won't. to find a fruit black one right off the rib. Animal. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. And it's adorable too, because the baby hippogriff that I have that on my main one, she she's like a pure gray color. Yeah, I managed to found a black one right off the rip. Yes, more muttons. <laughs> Precision is key when brewing. You know, potions. if you're gonna be doing that, you might as well get the cord for my blue microphone so I can hook it up. Here's the fruit feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Yeah, puff skin's nothing but a major fucking furball. <laughs> Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. I swear to God, babe. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. That right. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it. Oh. Oh. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Oh, I know why he's what like the. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Cause that's door. laying on its Again. side, that's its mouth, and that's its nose. It's sleeping. When a puffskin sleeps, they actually sleep like that. That's a puffskin. 
They they may look like that. They may look like that, babe. But you do not want to fuck with them due to the fact that they actually have a tongue that is long that is as long as a barracuda. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Yeah. Did she even hear what I just said about them motherfuckers? <laughs> I don't think she did. That's what I'm saying. If you're gonna be talking like this, might as well get the cord for the freaking blue microphone. They look like they can eat a lot. TV catch me the drift. Swear to fucking God, babe. I'm going to pick it. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for phone. one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say. You've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay what the fuck, babe? In herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I swear to God. I think each of us has had enough excitement for Fuck one day. You, she's Class is dismissed. <laughs> I'll come through the screen and fight you. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Nasty ass! <laughs> I was trying to figure out what the fuck happened! Then damn it! <laughs> Fucking nasty! Oh, shit. Oh. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But girls <laughs> have no business in hot <laughs> She said, if that's the case, if you pick the meat, it's no longer yours then, correct? <laughs> no, that's a question for you, babe. You lick my meat. <laughs> Me and her don't need to be <laughs> the same thing. That's just an honest opinion. Because a lot of weird things are going to be said and a lot of people are going to be questioning us. They're going to be like, are these people okay? No. Who hurt them? No, we're not okay. We've, we've been hurt for years. We're not okay, but we're moving. <laughs> but plug USA, you name it, we plug it. We all need help, yes. Buggy! Come back here, you fucking furball. Give me loves. I got another I got another kitty now, Nikki. That's an old one. If you want a new one, we gotta toss that one out. No. Oh, boy, you would. I wouldn't throw you out. I'll throw you in a wall of an aisle. <laughs> <laughs> what, Puggy B? What? Us? Go on. There you go, baby. Ugh, my 
rogues are going to reap from Gareth's inspiration. That's the last. Why do I feel like I am fucking up and forget them? No, nope, I'm not. Never mind. Never mind. I could probably see the all white ones being for the Jabbernauts. Mostly for the fact that I've came across blue and pink ones, but I've not came across any of the um, other colors. So I know for a fact that a Jabbernaut should, might be white. I thought but I can go over there. I've only came across the blue and pink ones. What the fuck was that for? <laughs> right now not with this arm you can't throw nothing but you like, can punch <laughs> because I'm keeping it low like this if I'm lifting my arm don't what, what did you do I don't know I think I pulled a muscle or something How? I have no fucking clue all I know is that it hurts I can only go so far and then it starts killing me Feels like I need to pull my arm out of socket. I can use something else. Oh. I can use something else to worry about. Ow. No. Ow. Hey, what's the rule about my ass? Ah, dang it. Yeah, what about the fountain? Looks like YouTube's having a problem with you. But, um. Eeny <laughs> whore. Um. What is. What, what were you gonna tell me about the fountains?
It's another fucking bag. It won't let me pick it up, so fuck it. Sounded like someone got a hold of her tail. You can get it for your room of requirement. Oh! I know it moves, but I didn't know you can get it for the room of requirement. the comments when you said I don't know what the fuck that was and I said it sounded like someone was someone grabbed her tail Nikki came back over there saying I'm sorry I'll play nicer next time <laughs> what the fuck oh, I know I can, I know you can get statues, but I didn't know that you can actually get an actual cottage. Like, are you able to go into the cottage, or is it just there for display? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Until I can get rid of some shit. But I do need to check and see what I got though. Make sure I got anything that's worth a damn. is simply too many. You know the fucking truth. Revenia. 
You bitch. Mmm, pack that up. Sir, what do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Sami, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. What do you have for sale? Hmm? That's not a window. What can I help you with today? <sighs> I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. Yep. I hope to see you again sometime. You might want to check it, babe. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would hmm? go this far. The food? The reason why is because it smells kind of weird. Mm. It is good to see you, my friend. I know it ain't. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found I at Greenbox. When were you at Greenbox? So Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's some of them I don't think is random. Ceremony. Oh yeah, they're random. A poor people just there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? All right. There's mm. one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have <laughs> a connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Ah, bitch! That's the reason why it's not What's random. I'm still learning. That's not it. fucking random, random bruises where you don't know where it's coming it. from, damn it! I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe you to say that Rupert and Halo are a threat to both of us. <laughs> to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. <laughs> and I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. And what sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. <laughs> Nikki's just laughing her ass off watching this. <laughs> Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair, and you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. Hey, stick away from the camera, damn it! All the more reason they must be stopped. <laughs> Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, we are. but shouldn't Officer Singer handle We're children like trapped in adult bodies. Can't help she it. She was polite, but... <laughs> you understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's last time about the massive potion operation that Halo was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit. Try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. <laughs> But how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what oh, Halo is up to. Fuck me. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, <laughs> I am here to meet me. Thank you. She's, she said, bring it back. I'll smack it for you. Be on your guard. <laughs> What's going on here? I never 
thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Big dog, we don't give a doxy's nip Get back your time. Oi! Speak the devil. Mr. Yeah. Rook, would you like a word? <laughs> I, I think they've had, I think they finally realized the size difference between me and you. Do you really want to push me? Stop it! Bitch! <laughs> I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. in such a manner and so close to Hogwarts mm. Jesus fucking Christ <laughs> In no small it's what Nikki said. Defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders. Victor Rockwood seems an extortionist. His little cronies. They seem quite keen on you. It's a long story. <laughs> she sent a message saying, "If I push mm. you, can well, I get it harder, Mikey?" <laughs> Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Her lesson last time, but I told her the harder you play with me, the harder I play with you. She had bruises up and down her legs, up and down her chest because of how hard she played with me. So I'm like in a Rubik's cube. The more you play, the harder I get. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. She's <laughs> <laughs> fucking crying! An archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. <laughs> Maybe I'm not gonna go back and get banned from YouTube. You're gonna get me monetized. <laughs> Are you sure this is done? Yes. Okay. It's just a little bit of it feels cold still. I don't know why. You know what? Eat it. Because I'm hungry. You let me cook something that you have to... Merlin of the legend of King Arthur. The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. Bitch, it wasn't I even done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ago, I pull out game is on board. My brother, who I can't even trust to pull out the fucking beer. Around the air. <laughs> I've taken to calling them the trials of Merlin. I that frozen he beer that you can't drink. A diversion for a his fellow pizza you can't eat. <laughs> he was Bring terribly fond out. of puzzles and enigmas. Are you okay? I can see why you're so interested in Marlin. I'd be curious to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I, I don't have fucking know anymore. Crucial I don't know anymore. I suspect I'm that Mallory that. Sweet is guess. an important component right, in this. getting mm. the trials right. to work. Mallory what? Sweet, versatile herb. Merlin no, seriously, what? mentioned it in his writings. I had Jesus just arrived Christ. to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. 
That started me thinking. What if the mallow sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Love it. Now, notice the vines on these pages. He said, missed my message. As well as a stone swell on the ground. Oh, well, oh my god, I'm so tired. I heard something completely different. On the swell, and we'll see what happens. Am I speaking Chinese to you, woman? She. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. <laughs> and send me beard. The flames fire sink. Ella sounded like he said I can't pull out. <laughs> I can pull it. <laughs> I pull out games on par. She's not a twinkie. She becomes Curious. The pyres are back where they started. <laughs> and now, on oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Then I get yep, got it. Did it so many times before. Why did it not go that first time? What a day! I can hardly believe it. Okay. I didn't want to be in humor. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Greetings, young Slytherin. Yeah. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Blake. So you guys have a still series?
Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened mm. to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if... Oh, yeah. What happened? It's just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see.
<laughs> oh god. That sounds like how Mikey would be. This must be where the pinch smedley found the astrolabers. Check this over. I here. should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Oh, no. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. <laughs> Thank you again, and I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Oh my god, can you not?
What do you think? <laughs> I just don't like to eat in front of people. Especially if it's like on streams. I don't like people seeing me eat on video. Pumpkins. Oh, I think I know just the place. Yes, God, I'm being down there. Mini me. Rebellion. The water's what? edge. Hmm. This had better not be a trick. Ain't that convenient? <laughs> Thank you for coming all this way. Can you fucking not, babe? The, the name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student mm. at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. 
But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might oh my also fucking find God. How did you injure your ear? The blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. Bitch, that's not a sweet reminder. That is not even a small injury of a good heart. The bitch went crazy. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you know that I'd found a book? And that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. It seems this may help us both. I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And the ring. I hate the fact that my fucking shoulder's killing me this much.
I need a piece of toast. I suppose mm. that's where it goes. Could it be a visitor? Oh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find the Black Family Ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. <laughs> Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, t'was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages, if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happened next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. Stop now. Cause where my freaking thing died on me. Oh yeah. Almost forgot about that. Thank you for the reminder on that one. But yeah, I'm gonna probably gun trying I'm probably going to stop with this one. Those pages. I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. to scroll real quick if I don't fucking kill myself. Ugh. Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollina's Grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. <coughs> oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. 
Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Ah, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. So that's all I'm going to be doing for this this game for tonight. But I am going to have another stream going up here soon for another game. So hopefully everyone can join up on that. Well, that that's the thing, though. Um, if you mean like on the game, have him dress up like on the game, he don't play the game and we don't have the pre-order stuff, but if I can actually find stuff to try and makeshift what the outfit would look like, I probably would and he would probably go for it, but I don't think he would be able to. But anyways. That's all I'm going to be doing on this one for right now. I'm going to get another stream going up for a different game. So hopefully everyone can bounce right on over. <laughs> yeah. To the other stream. And give it love too. But that's all I got for on this. And I will see you guys another time.